Ah, the Kaboominator Postal Service. But seriously, based on the fights that have been traded back and forth over the past few days, they should call this the Crazy Person Skirmish. Hello everyone, this is Crafterman, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. So yes, yeah, so over the last few days, um, uh, Kaboominator just, well, he didn't really build this, we built it for him, because he, he said he'd give us some, like, gems and stuff, some diamonds, but Kaboominator built this postal service, and it's supposed to, tr they're supposed to, like, trade goods between different parts of my world, but people have been sending each other, like, hate letters just as pranks, so yeah, that's why I said they should call the CPS the crazy person skirmish, but yeah, so I thought, um... I tried to tell everyone st stop doing this. I don't. I don't want there to be a second civil war. There already was in season two, and they, no one would listen to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a secret base underneath here, so I can keep an eye on like everything that gets traded in here, what goes in, what goes out, etc. So let's see. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm probably going to do one of those underwater bases, and I'm going to have an access hatch from the base here. So yeah. Let's see. How should I do this? Um. It has to be something, like, where you can't really see it that much. Maybe if it's hidden in the kelp, no one's ever gonna notice. So, oh wait, I need a torch. Torch, torch, torch. Ah, torch! Okay, I didn't see myself drown there. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna dig here. Okay, wait, come on, stop glitching. Oh, okay, there we go. So, another torch right here, and pickaxe. And, uh, here, and here. So now I'm just gonna block this off, and then I can put, like, a sign there. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what what the heck? Oh, okay, that was that was weird. Okay, there are a lot of there've been a lot of weird glitches lately. I think I might have a, a minor virus or something cuz just everything keeps glitching, but whatever. So, let's build a crafting table right now just so I can make a sign and stuff. Uh yeah, I have I have some gummy bears right here cuz I have so many cool food mods. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't do that, should I? No. Okay, I'm mean, gonna just put it right here, place it down, and let's see, what was I gonna, oh yeah, sign, sorry, I'm forgetting stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make a sign right here just so I can block off the water and have it, and have the secret access, but I shouldn't actually put a torch in here, because then it's gonna be obvious for everyone, they're just gonna see this light coming from underwater, and everyone's gonna know that it's a secret base, but, yeah, if I don't, then no one's gonna know. Okay, actually, I should put the torch here and just break this, break this sign. Okay, so let's see, how well, how well does this work? Um, you know what, maybe I even have a sign here, this, this is better. Um, let's say, I hope, hope nobody, f oops, uh, finds this, yep, and you just break this, so now does this work? Yep. So yeah, I, you can, you can barely see this, or even from here, so, well, if you're just going down right here, you, you're probably never gonna find the base, so yeah, I'm just gonna go down there. And then I'm gonna make a door into a separate room, and that's where the light's gonna be, because I don't want there to be light, like, right when you come in. Ah! I'm drowning. Okay. Here we go. So, maybe maybe make an oak door, like this. Yep. Uh, actually, this is 1.7, so the only doors you can have are oak doors. Uh, let's see. How, how should I make this? I already have some cobblestone here, but cobblestone's gonna be a bit too obvious. Maybe I'll make some sandstone, so I can place that down instead. Uh, okay. Uh, shovel this gravel away, put sandstone down here, okay, there we go. Uh, is there anything else right here? Uh, yep, ah, ah, dang it. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to get in here. Come on. I, I hate building underwater more than anything. If you've seen season two, you should know that. Okay, there we go. And I'm glad it didn't destroy this torch, too. Okay, so I'm going to break this torch so no one sees the light, and, yeah, block this off. So, wait, can, can you see the light? Uh, dang it, you kind of can. Ah, whatever. Hopefully, no one's going to notice it anyway. So, I, I was just going to say, I hope nobody finds this. Anyway, so now let's make a staircase going a bit down. Oh, seriously? Seriously? Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, guys, so I was cutting this out, and Sandy and Express finally joined. This is his first time joining in Season 3, so... Yeah, what's up, Sam? What's up? We're coming a long time. Yeah, so Sam is like my... He's kind of like my, uh, in unofficial, like, military strategist kind of guy, so, and yeah, since we're, like, spying on Kaboominator and his trading system here, I thought, oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, water. What is this, this, what this, is this green water? No, this is an underwater base. Oh, wow, the water's colored green. 
It is? Must be different on your yeah, computer, because it, it looks just like normal water to me. It's like the first, uh, this is your first time joining with this new mod pack, and the first time you do, the colors are always different. So, yep. Yeah. So this is going to be like the main room. So this, this can be like the, maybe the conference room. It's like, so we can like discuss what we're doing. So I'm, I'm wondering, I bet you guys are wondering why I'm so paranoid about this. Uh, Kaboominator, he, he is a good helper, but he's never been trustworthy, and he lost the deputy election. Uh, he, like, oh, it, he didn't just, like, it wasn't like a neck-and-neck -neck race. It was a neck-and-neck -neck race between Sam and Pinecone. Pinecone won, but Kabuminator lost really bad, and since then he's been kind of mad about that. And suddenly he sets up this trade system and is causing trouble on it, so I'm worried he's, uh... He's, I mean, he's no Peter Craft, but I'm worried he's going to, like, cause some trouble. So that's why San and I are building this secret base underneath Kaboominator's trade system. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So, yeah, this can be the first room, and then let's, uh, yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, yay, yeah, fossils. So, yeah, uh, this room is just, like, once you go down here, then you'll go into the room, and then we can just, like, yeah, then we can just dig more staircases down, because every time we dig, we seem to dig into water. So yeah, let's dig another staircase down here, and this is going to go into another room. So yeah, just dig down there. Maybe I'll close the door so the light doesn't get out, and so people can't see where where we are here. Uh, okay, this this should be good enough. Uh, I, I'm, okay, there we go. So I'll just dig, dig here. Wait, what? What happened? Okay, so th this should be far down enough. We don't need to go any deeper, despite what the nether achievement says. <laughs> Get it? Because the nether achievement is we need to go deeper. Okay, anyway. Let's uh, just build a room here. So this can be like... I don't think we need a weapon storage room here. We're not planning to attack Kaboominator. But maybe... Uh, let's see. So if if we're spying on it, maybe let's have like... Uh, maybe... I don't know. Uh, radars? Yeah, radars. Okay, how do, how do you make this? Uh, is, is there any way to make, like, a radar, uh, oh, trade station, okay, th that's cool, oh, uh, biome radar, uh, how, how do you even make this? Iron, I'll just make some, uh, I mine some iron while, while, while we're digging down. Yeah, I'm just gonna now scroll through, like, the items, uh, and see, like, what kind of st cool stuff you can make, what could help us, like, spy on Kaboominator. Because the more we know about what he's doing, the better. Uh, okay, this will look... The better for the kingdom. Yeah. Why do I have a screw gun? Um, technically, it's not that much of a secret base if we're doing it on YouTube, but the good news is Kaboominator almost never watches any of my videos, so hopefully he won't ever find out. Um, oh yeah, guys, uh, Sandy and Express just, uh, made his own YouTube channel, so yeah, I'll put a link in the description to that. He's just starting, but, yeah, has a lot of potential to be a pretty good YouTuber. It's, oh, cool. It's still, it, it, I still have to download some videos. Oh, wait. Still... Dude, I know what we can do. Uh, we can make transport pipes, and, yeah, so then we can actually, like, sne sneak in some of the, some of the resources that Kaboominator's bringing in. We can just, not, maybe not stealing, but... We can just take them and take a look at what he's trading. Okay, let's see. Is there a wood, wooden transport pipe here? Uh, wooden transport pipe. Okay, here we go. Wooden transport pipe. How, how do we make this? Okay, so we just need some glass. Uh, I'm just going to go outside outside of the base and mine some, mine some sand that we can smelt into glass so we can make the wooden transport pipes. And how do you make a, how do you make a stone transport pipe? Uh, let's see, stone. Yeah, I have the this new mod, build craft, and it's really useful. You can have these transport pipes that, like, transport objects. Okay, so, basically we need some furnaces, so, where are you? I'm here. Up here. I found... Okay, Oh, so... I found this trade porting thingy. Oh, yeah, this is, this mm -hmm. is the trade building. This is Kaboominator's trade building. It's called, this, we're in his province right now. This is the CPS, the Kaboominator Postal Service. Whoa! I yep. found out what he. I already found out what uh, what he was doing. What was he doing? He was. I just looked in one of his chests, and he got some tree. He got some exotic gems, sort of. Oh, well, cool. Let me see. Show me. Uh, where is it? You have to come up. 
You have to come up here. It's it's in one of it's in the income. I think it's in the outgoing. No, it's uh. No, it's in the incoming. Oh yeah, incoming in from. The... Wait, wait. Kabuminator's province. This is the mining province. Why is he taking gems from another province? Probably resources have run out. I mean, Dude. Gems, Minecraft. Okay. We I we know what, you know what this means, don't you? I've been shocked by the crazy amount of things that Kabuminator has been shipping out from this province. I mean, like, I was like, this is a lot of mining for a guy who rarely ever joins the server. But do you think that maybe, just maybe, he's actually not doing any of this? And he's just getting it all from other provinces? Well, probably, it may be that, but you, you never know. Probably he's trying to mine, and then uh, something he can't mine because something else is attacking him. Maybe, but we have to figure out where he got where he got it from. This will be a very hard enigma to solve. Where, which province gave him the gems? Oh wait, Borealis. Okay, that, that wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. Yes, yeah, so Borealis. Bo I know that place. I've been there before. Uh yeah, Borealis. It's it's the where Village Two used to be when we had the numbered villages. It's like in the far north. So yeah. Yes. Nuclear uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and these are trading posts to th the three different provinces across the sea. So yeah, now let's go back down and let's build some of the tra the transport pipes. But first I just gotta shovel some sand here. But yeah, but you can go back down to the base and just... Uh, yeah, can you build a few furnaces? I'm wondering, probably he might have not... he can't mine. What do you mean? I think he can't mine on uh, any of his resources. If he's trying to... Of course, why would he trade then? Think about it. Think yeah. About it. If he would trade, would he... He doesn't need to trade because he, he always has... He always has a lot of... You know, he can mine all of that... Uh, all of the drawers. Yeah. Probably it's not there. Or somebody's stealing it from him. So somebody's stealing his gems and he has to... He has to trade with Borealis to get them back. Yes. Okay, because so... somebody, again, there, I know this, I know this area a little bit, a little bit more than you do. Hey, but yeah, that's true, you do. So, um, yeah, let's go, let's go back down to the it's base. Just like you. Yeah, so, so now, here's what we gotta do. We have to figure out what he offered Borealis in exchange for, in exchange for this. So, we'll have to keep an eye on the trades in the future, and we can't always, like, look in the chests, because... We're not always going to be the only ones on the server. Let's, let's go back down to the base here. So yeah, we have to make the transport pipe so we can just take a sneak peek at the stuff oh, that Kaboomer yeah. is hiding. Yeah, so I'm... I'm Where's the It's, uh... Where's the base? It's hidden. It's, it, it's good if you can't find it. It means we hid it well. Uh, it's just look underwater. It's... You'll see the light. Wait, do you, do you see me? Okay, just, yeah. just go right down from here. You see it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah I see it. Okay. So now let's go in there and just craft some transport pipes. Uh, make some furnaces, maybe. So yeah, this is how we we are going to spy on Kabuminator. So two furnaces, maybe. It's probably enough. Uh, okay. One, I'm two. I'm wondering what Kabuminator... Probably Borealis. So, yeah, I think he... of Borealis. I know what they trade for, actually. What do they trade I've, for? I've traded myself. I've traded my own, like, stone swords for, like... Yeah, from village ten to oh yeah, because Borealis is the stone. Gems. Borealis is the stone because mining they, province. Yeah, that's true. They are because we, they they can't make they don't have, they can't make a good uh, swords like we do, and they're not good fighters, so they don't make any good swords. Yeah, there's only really one that's person one in Borealis, make. and that's the governor, because Borealis isn't a very popular province. Because San, you you have is um, it what? It isn't popular, but I do know what. I do, but by, looking by these uh, 40, I've collected these 46 seeds. Yeah. Probably he's trading these seeds for something. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the, the seeds were just sent by Nuclea as a prank. So, yeah, I, I don't think it's that, but... Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take some of this glass out and uh, craft another crafting no. table right here. Yeah. Four reality. Wait. Is Borealis a mining village? It's not a village, it's a province. Borealis is the stone mining province. So yeah. Uh -huh. Let's make a wooden transport pipe. Oh, yay, we get eight of them. 
That's exceeded my expectations. Very good. Uh, let's see, how, how should I make this? Maybe I'll make a staircase going up, so... Yeah, forget this. You're gonna have to be careful, Mont. You're gonna have to be careful, Mont. Uh, you should you should be careful for uh, for upcoming water coming up from there. Oh yeah, you're right. You know what? I'm just gonna block this off because you're right. I should be careful for water coming in. Uh, let's see. Do I have another pickaxe? Please tell me. I dang it, I don't. But I do have iron, so I can make another one pretty easily. So yeah, I'm facing the right way. Ah, hey, borrow my pickaxe. Oh, thanks. Do you have one? Yeah, I have one. I have an iron one. Oh, good, thanks. Yeah. Uh, thank or you. Or diamond one, huh? Oh, diamond. Yay, even better. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. Uh, how... It's the one that you gave me. <laughs> yeah, okay, how high do we have to dig up? Whoa, we're, we're a lot lower than I thought. <laughs> Maybe it might be a bit harder than we thought, too, to, to dig up, because we're so, like, low. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, w I wish we could, like... Oh, coal! Oh, yeah, coal, yeah. This is nice. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna mine this off. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna have to do this in one go because it's like we can't really retrace our steps. If the tunnel gets too big, Kubernetes is gonna notice. So, we're gonna have to, when as soon as we put the pipes down, it's gonna block off the tunnel. So, we have to get out of the tunnels before we. Oh, wait, I think, I think this is the surface. Okay, there is going to be falling sand pretty soon. Falling sand is imminent. Among us, and then we can see where we're. It's oh. imminent in this uh, part of the end. Oh wait, okay. I I just tunneled underneath his base. Oh, I'm getting a lot of coal. I'm getting a lot of coal that I need. Yay. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm right here. Oh my God, is this like a straight coal mine? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we we have to make this unnot unnoticed. This this base thing. Okay. Let's see. How should we do this? Um, I'm thinking we're just gonna make it into a two by two tunnel that goes underneath, and we'll just walk around there until we get to the, until we get to the chest. So now, now what we have to do is we have to find the coordinates of the, of the chest that we're looking for. So we're gonna have to tunnel under the borealis chest. Okay, so what are the coordinates of this? So, two twenty two hundred negative four o two, negative twenty two hundred. So that that's what we have to, that's where we have to get, get to. So negative. That's thirty-three coal. Yeah, so we have to just dig to negative twenty-two hundred in the z coordinate, and then negative uh, four hundred in the x coordinate. Ooh, I feel so sneaky, and technically I'm the leader of this place, but I'm still spying on my like helpers here. I feel so like I almost feel guilty, but I also feel like I'm doing the right thing at the same time. It's like I'm guilty for doing the right thing. That that's a good thing to be guilty for, though. It's better to be guilty for doing the right thing than doing the wrong thing, I guess. Uh, okay, 401 and 402. Okay, here we are. We have tunneled underneath the chest. This is pretty scary. Okay, I, I put a wooden transport pipe underneath it. So now I'm going to make uh, some... Hopefully it will be enough stone transport pipes so that we can transport the... Whatever it is. We'll be Whatever is put in that chest will be automatically transported down into this chest. Ooh, we're so sneaky. Okay, 26 stone right here. It should be enough. Ooh, yeah, I'm burning the trap door. Okay, so how much glass do we have? We have 24 glass. Um, Add more coal cool so that we can mine more. Oh, yay. I mean, we can melt more. Okay, you so don't need trap doors, how, how many is this? Okay, this is a lot of a lot of tubes. I think, I think this is going to be pretty good. Ideally, we'd have, like, a gold transport pipe, because those speed things up, but I don't think we really need it, do we? So the last thing we need is a redstone Here, engine. Is glass on the chest that you can use? Uh, last thing we need is a redstone engine. Okay, where is that? Where is it? Maybe, and... Here we go. Okay, how do you make a wood... I can do everything with that. How do... Oh, okay. So I think we can make a redstone engine. That's the last thing we need to do. And then we are all set to spy on my good friend Kabuminator. <laughs> yep, I'm such a great friend, aren't I? And such a great coworker. Okay, technically this isn't work. It's like I don't pay anyone here, uh, but still, it's feels like work. You don't need to. I know. We, can, you, you kind of repay us in in a sense. Yeah. I, Let me do a test. I need to do a test of this. I, re I pay my helpers by letting them 
it's, I let anyone who joins the plateau, anyone can make videos here. It's not copyrighted or anything. So yeah, it's it's f open to the public, and eventually, not now, not for like another few months at least, probably more, but eventually I'm going to open the server to the public, and once I figure out how to like um, add plugins to a Forge server, if you even can, because it's like, I can't open it to the public now, because I don't want just random people doing whatever they want on, on the server. Wait, why is this not being placed? Oh no, don't tell me I'm about to crash. No, okay, th this is going to suck. Okay, can I place this here yet? Yeah, I can. Oh, there's a torch here. I got so panicked there. I was like, no, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. Okay. Because this I mod... I got a lot of more. This mod is a very unstable mod, and it crashes sometimes, so... I was really hoping that it wouldn't that time, and it didn't. But I got pretty scared there, because it was like... it. I was doing stuff, and it wasn't being placed down, and usually that means that it's about to crash. Oh, wait, what? Is there a post... Uh, do you have a potion effect on you? Sam? Oh, yeah, I, it's one of those uh, golden apples I traded with, remember, way back in the day. Oh, yeah, those. <sighs> okay, I actually don't remember, but I'm, I'm taking your word for it. I'm taking your word that it's that, and you're not actually on Minecraft drugs. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I... Don't look like I am, no. Okay. You know what, you know, just in case, when morning peeps out... Yeah. We're gonna have to put these in. We're gonna put some of these. We're gonna put these Wait. seeds in those uh, t chests. Okay. So that we can, uh, so that we can fool Kabooninator. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So let's let first let's just test the system. And glass. Yeah, let's just test the system to make sure it works. So I have to. I'm gonna have to make some wooden gears right here. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna get rid of this boat. Okay. So we have to make wooden gears. How do you make the redstone engine again? Wooden gears, three wood, glass, okay. and a piston. So how do you make? How do you? I'm such a noob. How do you make a piston? Uh, okay. I I feel so dumb for not knowing this. I've been playing Minecraft for like many years. I still don't know it. Okay. How how? Okay. Where's the piston? There's so many things you can make. Oh, here we go. So cobblestone, redstone, iron. Yeah, this looks pretty easy. Cobblestone. Uh. Iron, redstone, and three wood. Okay, there we go. Here's a piston. And I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, so now here we got a piston. So now to make a redstone engine. Okay, where's the redstone engine? Uh, I'm going to do the shimmy. Yep. Oh, wait, how do you make a redstone engine? Here we go. So yeah, this this should be real easy. Uh, okay, do I have any glass on me? Wait, I should. Wait, where'd my glass go? Uh, okay, glass, glass. Uh, dude, did you take the glass? I have the glass. Oh, wait, no, the glass is there. Oh, where upstairs. is it? Upstairs. Upstairs? Not upstairs, like up in the in the por porting sta in the porting station. Uh, wait, where? Okay. Uh, do, you have, a, do you have it's like? Port. A, it's in the It's the trade trade post. Do you have any glass on you? No, it's in the trade post area, and uh, that's the glass that you just now the you just now mined or not mined. Uh yeah, it's it's probably good that I'm going up there anyway because that's where the redstone engine needs to go. It needs to be there for the machine to work, and once I build it, I'm gonna test it by putting some seeds down in the tube. Oh, dude, you crashed a boat into me. Yeah, those pressure plates, they activate boats so that you can just, like, run off and just, like, swim out. So now there are tons of boats floating around everywhere. Okay, so we have to we have to cover up this redstone engine somehow. The glass is in the outcoming glass. Uh, out, outgoing. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I hope the redstone engine will work in with water in the I'm way. Putting all my... What if he didn't notice this? Uh, he probably won't notice because we're going to cover this up pretty well. But if he does, we're screwed. I, he probably isn't going to notice, because I don't see how he would. Oh, he's, he, he knows somebody's going to spy on him, but he doesn't know who. He, well, how, how would he know that someone's going to spy on him? He doesn't even know anyone suspecting anything, unless he watches one of these videos. But he's not like Petercraft, and he doesn't have... Well, Petercraft's defeated, but he Petercraft had like a huge army of tons of people working for him. Uh, and Kuminator just has himself and whoever he's trading with in Borealis. Okay, so where'd you put the glass? 
is he trading in Borealis? I feel. Dude, where, uh, where's the glass? It's with me, wait. Oh, yeah, can you bring it up? Please. Dude, I need the glass. I'm coming. Okay. Uh, where, where are you? Uh, <laughs> well, why were you over, why were you over there? <laughs> no! Uh, oh, no! Uh, uh, don't worry about my it. My throat broke. It's okay. Just give me some glass, please. Okay, here, here's the glass. It's so cool, because if it's like, if the world doesn't load in, you think this is the other side of the ocean, but it's actually over here, because this, this whole area is just kind of a bay. It's, uh, I haven't decided what to name this bay yet. Bay spelled B-A-Y, just in case any of you are wondering. Uh, yeah, I haven't decided what to name it yet, but it's something. But, right. yeah, that's, it's, that's not... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? 2 9 c It's not familiar before. What? Two, two, no, not, not, that's not, no, no. Two nine C. That it's this is backwards for CPS. If you go on the other side, it says CPS. CPS, but for Kabuminator, but it's not CPS actually. Oh wait, two nine. It's CPS backwards, but then if you like reverse, like if you like, it's two nine C. Reverse it would be two nine C. Okay. And I know that post because. So you think Kabuminator is making a code for something? Oh, what does two nine C mean? 29C, if, if, if way back when I was with uh, when I was with Kronos, yeah, we if, the mom would uh, would trade a, a lot of a villagers stuff. You know, uh, they would go and battle villages. They would just plunge them, and they would like destroy them in like seconds. Okay. What he, uh, what what uh, what uh, Kronos would do is that he would trade all the items to a town called Shipton. Shipton? In in the end, the, the, yeah, part in part of the Ender Province. Oh wow, real clever name. <laughs> yes, but, the Ender Province. Yes, it was all the way. It was, it was near Borealis, and I think Borealis is nothing but the former Ender Province. Wait, so you think Kabuminator might be? But how could Kabuminator be working with Kronos? Kronos is dead. He's not dead, of course. He he can't die. Remember, he can't look. He's communi- If you remember all the way back to season one when we, when you died from yeah. uh, from the javelin of uh, King Ender. Yeah. You came to the you came to the island where people get judged. Yeah. And he either gets into the pit or or either into the good place. I know he got into the pit. He he, he told Petercraft I saw a message, but he, he the only That's reason. The same. But if he died, he would go there again. Yeah. So yeah, I am i don't know what to make of Kabuminator, because he was fooled by Peter Craft. He does not know. Probably this person is not... It might not be even Kronos. It might be... Oh, wait. So you're saying that someone is tricking Kabuminator into, into trading with this guy. That's what you're saying. So is that what you're saying? I say what? What? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You should... Where is this base again? Oh yeah, it's it's under here. So yeah, the the gems should be coming down here so we can inspect them, find out which part of the world has these gems, and yeah, like where they come from and stuff. So guys, that's about the end of this episode. In the next episode, I'll be taking a vacation. So I'll see y'all then. Bye.